Hey there, this is Lady Nick, your social media red guy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel again. And just to let you know, I did finish part one of this two part blog uh, video that I'm doing in regards to sewing. So I'm going to be doing a staycation hopefully within the next couple weeks, but during that time, I'm going to be sewing and finishing up a few projects. And so I ran across a sewing tag which I've already completed and now I'm going to do another one this one is actually called the sewing tag the previous one is called the seamstress tag by Holly Dolly but this sewing tag is by Brittany J Jones and it's a 15 question tag so here we go alright how long have you been sewing well I've been sewing off and on mostly off and on for about 10 15 years now so i'm very much still a beginner because really how i started i'm self-taught and i learned how to sew by making gifts for my friends and colleagues of tablecloth and napkin sets number two who taught you how to sew well i've had three people attempt to teach me how to sew but primarily between my mom my brother's mother-in-law and myself, I picked up, you know, the necessities of what I need to learn. Number three, your first social media sewing influencer. It would have to be Crafty Gemini. I really love the way she approaches her uh, projects, how she breaks them down and takes you through step by step on how to get them done. So once I found her channel, I think that you know rekindle the fire to really get my sewing projects done finally and start using them as I need them number four what's your favorite clothing to sew well for me right now as a beginner since I don't really have a favorite but I really do like making napkins and tablecloths because I like hosting dinner parties you know not only for personal reasons but also uh, as a small business owner I do like small staff you know just coordinating the the dinner as well as the menu and the guest list the whole shebang but pretty much as it relates to sewing I did like creating the napkins and the tablecloths for them number five your favorite fabric I, knit or woven was listed here but I would have to say as a beginner I'm sticking to the simple cottons organza would be my dream fabric to work with but I realize how difficult and how my skill sets are not there yet to work with it but eventually I'd love to learn how to work with organza or silk the other kind of silks number six do you have a sewing studio no, I have more like a sewing desk or wherever I can find room on the dining room table to sew at the moment, but I am building out a small studio in the garden for 2018. So hopefully I'll be able to have, you know, a little side corner for my sewing material as well as my sewing machine. Number seven is what machines do you have? I only have one sewing machine, which is a Singer, and it was a basic. Uh, it was given to me to hold on to, and when I told the person who, hey, by the way, your sewing machine is still here, they're like, just hold on to it. So I taught myself how to sew with it. All right, number eight, your number one sewing tool. Um, would be the iron. I I really I think that comes from having to iron all my uniforms from elementary school all the way through high school. It's just like for me, believe it or not, and don't turn off your <laughs> your whatever device you're using to watch this video on, but it's therapeutic for me, you know, to finally iron out fabric and material that's been wrinkled and not burning it and having it look crisp and clean is one of my favorite things. Uh, where do you get your sewing inspiration? Pretty much channels that take garments from 
thrift stores and upcycles them and turns them into something like really gorgeous and you didn't really expect it you know to look all that great but by the time they were through with the, the material it looked awesome so I really like the creativity from different channels that upcycle the material as well as the DIY projects number 10 what's your favorite piece you've created I've given them away as gifts already, but some of the tablecloths and napkins, and I put the napkin ring holders and made it like a whole picnic set kind of gift, but it was like, it was beautiful. So I don't have it to show you, but I liked making them. Number 11, do you sew to sell? Not at the moment. Um, I pretty much gave all my gifts away. So I was making them for friends. And like I mentioned, you know, colleagues at the time, but I am, with my planning, looking to get into maybe uh, little uh, crafts, you know, to put on your planners. But that's not for another maybe half a year, early 2018. So, but I got some designs in mind. Number 11, what's your worst piece that you've created? I don't think I have a worse. I just think the process in which I made this A line type of dress, it was like, oh, uh, I think my back was even hurting because <laughs> I wasn't used to the proper way of sitting down for a long period of time. So even though the dress turned out really nice, I really loved the fabric that I used for it. It was like, oh my goodness, I gotta get a better chair because I realized like, although, what I was thinking in mind would be great, it would be fabulous, it's wonderful, as long as it's in your thoughts, right? But when it's finally like, you know, executing the project out, it's like, <laughs> when am I going to be done with this? So I had to learn a whole new skill set, you know, as far as time management and the way I think. I'm getting better. Number 13. Yeah, I think I'm on number 13. All right. What are your future show, sewing business plans? With an Etsy store that I have, like I mentioned before, and I'm seriously into planners, I'm thinking about making accessories for my planner, you know, that are business related and definitely um, helping business execs, you know, get through their day a lot better when they look through their planner and see something you know pleasant or you know comical so I'm working on that definitely um, in relations to like community and culture I want to do more in relations to you know just african-american young ladies you know inspiring them to go on and you know be the kind of business administrator that they want to be with a little assistance number 14 your top three favorite sewing blogs. One I will have to put at the top of the list is I just saw her this morning was definitely Mimi G. Um, I really applaud the way she just just hustle hard, you know, to make it happen despite her background, despite not knowing anything about um, business, learning as she went. So I just saw her interview was just really inspired that now she's doing an academy and, you know, helping other sewers learn how to sew. Number two would have to be Sew to Fit because she helps you resize your patterns. Like if it's too big, too small, you know, she'll help you take it three up to three sizes bigger, and I'm thinking three sizes smaller. I haven't watched a lot of her channel, but I like the way she thinks because none of the fabrics, none of the patterns that I've ever gotten from, you know, the stores or, you know, off the rack have ever fit. So I need something like that. And last but not least, the tailor and the dressmaker. Victoria We're Baylor said that she would definitely uh, answer the question, so I'm looking forward to that. So she's already been tagged, or they've already been tagged. Gentlemen, Jim, I look forward to hearing what you have to say as well. Last but not least, number 15 is patterns or self-drafted. Definitely patterns. I'm nowhere near the technique or the skill sets to make my own design, but hopefully within the next two or three years, we at that level. So, 
that's my sewing tag answer I hope that you were able to learn about me a little bit better and if you're watching this tag feel free to tag me and let me know that you completed it so I can learn more about you as I grow and learn in the sewing community thanks so much for stopping by my channel I'm Lady Nick the social media red guide signing off till next time take care